Well, Tim, you've been following every update to this storm's path. So what's the latest? You've been tracking this as it moves very slowly up the coast. Yes, yeah, moving at three miles an hour. Yeah. Right now. And, and we talked about this potential of it slowing down and stalling. Big issues for the Carolinas, South Carolina in particular. But as it builds to the north, it'll move a little bit faster, still bringing impacts to our region. We have Thursday and Friday declared as weather alert days for impactful tropical downpours that'll become more widespread and, and heavy during that time, growing the likelihood of some flooding. The majority of the area is under a flood watch now from Wednesday right through Friday evening. And with the center of Debbie or the remnants of Debbie tracking to our west, we'll likely see a low end tornado threat develop Thursday afternoon and evening with the spin already there in the atmosphere and the dynamics being a little more favorable for some spin up tornado. So here's our hazards we're looking at. Gusty winds, not so much concerned about winds here. It's losing its wind component as it's moving over land. So we may see some gusts maybe to 40 miles per hour along the immediate coastline, particularly on Friday. Flooding, though, and the heavy rain will be the biggest widespread impact. Two to six inches, maybe locally higher totals. And a lot of that will come down in quick bits. So one to two inch an hour rainfall rates with some of these downpours with the atmosphere being so tropical in nature. The severe threat, I talked about that low end tornado threat. Uh, Weather Service has us up at a level one threat for Thursday afternoon with the track of the system coming by to our west that puts the spin coming up and over the uh, coastal plain. So we'll watch that carefully. But really over the next 36 hours, it doesn't move very much, still stays in the general vicinity of South Carolina. And then as it interacts with a cold front coming in from the northwest, it does get picked up and moves a little bit faster off to the north northeast. Here's the Storm Prediction Center's outlook for Thursday. Again, of a five tiered system, five being the greatest threat. We're at a level one, so the threat's relatively low, but it's not zero. So we'll watch for the tornado threat here Thursday afternoon and evening. Here's how it plays out on Futurecast. We had a couple downpours come on through already today. I expect some more overnight tonight. General trajectory from the south lifting to the north, and we'll see wave after wave of this developing in that same general direction with the slow movement of Debbie. It doesn't really break down over the next couple of days. Lunchtime tomorrow, likely dodging some heavier downpours, maybe a few storms in the mix as well. In the Wednesday evening, overnight in early Thursday, more waves of rain coming on through, and that continues right through Thursday afternoon and again on Friday, which is why the rain totals will really add up. Here's our long range models going right through Saturday. This is the Europeans output. Two to four inches, and if you were watching yesterday, this has been consistent, showing a two to four, four to six rainfall event for the majority of the area. Locally, there could even be some higher totals than that. That's why the flood watch is up. Peninsula, south side, northeastern North Carolina, Gloucester, Matthews, eastern shore, likely will be added to this as we go farther out in time, but this is from Wednesday evening, tomorrow evening through Friday evening. Here's a look at radar right now. For the time being, Virginia cities and counties not seeing much going on, but earlier we did get a pretty good soaking with some tropical downpours building on through. More developing to the south that's trying to build its way north into northeastern North Carolina and eventually into south side Virginia. Tonight, 78, we're mostly cloudy and we've got occasional showers and downpours out there. And tomorrow, 83, still very humid, showers and storms. And those heavy tropical downpours likely again with wave after wave coming on through. What does the weekend look like? I think we still squeeze out a few showers early in the day on Saturday, but the system itself looks to become a little more progressive, moving out of here a little quicker. So I think we do salvage a good chunk of the weekend. Saturday afternoon, some improvements coming, and certainly by Sunday will be a much drier day with temperatures still quite warm in the mid to upper 80s. So weather alert days Thursday and Friday. Storms and the severe risk is there and some flooding as well for Thursday and Friday and then improving weather this weekend and by early next week seasonable and finally dry weather too Monday and Tuesday. And as Debbie makes its way up the coast, it's important to stay prepared. Just download our hurricane guide by scanning the QR code right there on your screen. There you'll find everything from emergency contacts to a hurricane checklist and more.